Okay, so now that we have the finished cockpit done, we can now drop it in. Now typically, uh, with most kits, you glue the cockpit into one side before you sandwich the fuselage halves together. But with this kit, you can just drop it in. It has nice little attachment points for it. In fact, you don't even need to glue it, which is quite nice. A little feature. Alright, so now we're just going to glue on this top half, which will seal up the cockpit. So just, like always, be gluing, but this time you want to be a little bit on the careful side that you don't hit any parts that you painted, as that would definitely not be good. So you definitely want to take a little extra care with the glue at this stage. dropping this on. Okay. You also want to be careful you don't pop anything like I did there. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to fix this. So, come back right after I finish fixing that. Okay, so I've got the this section now on and it's drawing. So now it's time to start getting ready to finally paint. Now, for the inlet sections, because this is open, it makes it really easy for us to get in there and basically block it up. For that, I'm going to use some sticky tack again. And I'm just going to get a good chunk going. Now since, as I said, this is open, it makes it a lot easier to control the amount we stick in and how we move it around. Okay. I'm gonna Pretty decent chunk here, so I'm going to start by sticking it in this way. Now, since there is some area that out here that does need to get painted, now I'm going to use a set of tweezers to get in there and try to mold it around. Just a matter of just working the working around and eventually trying to get as much plugged up as you can. So as we don't have to worry about retouching later. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing this and then talk some more. Okay, so I've got the inlets now nicely plugged up and will give us a nice clean edge around the lip of it. Now to plug up those open engine compartments. Alright, now I just want to 
You gotta make sure you're you got the right part to the right part. And again, I'm gonna use some more sticky tack. Actually, much larger chunk to make sure we get a good hold and make sure that it totally sits down. Yeah, my only complaint with sticky tack is it does take a little bit of work to, as you can see, just some good old fashioned kneading to get it warmed up and basically wanting to stick together. So I'm going to plug up this back area. That way we ensure we don't have to worry about any paint. I mean, though, coming through that hole, though, I'd be shocked if it did. And so, I'm trying to make sure it's sticking out a little bit because I want to make sure it hangs on to this part. And, oops. So, just need to take a little more to clean up that back edge. Make sure it's down all the way. Oh, come on. Again, you want to sometimes you have to work it in. And when something does not work, where's the right piece? Time to phase just to re double check your alignment. There we go. And when in doubt, sometimes you just have to force stuff. There we go. There. Finally got that down, and when we're done painting, it'll usually just pop off. So you're going to do the same on the other side. Again, you want to get a fair amount of sticky tack. Just plop it in. Hold it round. So, and next video I'll do, talk about masking off the canopy.